Hello guys, we've been dumpster diving for 7 hours, it's 1.30 a.m. and uh, you can see an advance of what we got, our car is full, uh, so we promise that tomorrow we are going to show you each and everything we got, but for now this is what you can see. Take a look. It's a dream come true, absolutely. We, we've been everywhere and we've got a lot of stuff. So, including two Christmas trees. Yes. So you can see here. Here is the one and the other one is over there. You have no idea what it is in here. <laughs> you name it, it's here. Well, hello guys again. As promised, we are going to show you everything we got yesterday. These are the first two things we got from Bath and Body Works. We suppose that these Christmas trees were in the windows, you don't know, but they are so beautiful. And we suppose that because there is no um, base, so they are yes. pretty much, there's a stick at the bottom, yes. so in order to be used, they need to be um, put somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we need the base. We are probably going to donate them. But I would like to have some place to put them because I love them. They're so beautiful. I don't know how much they would cost at the store, but I think they are some kind of expensive trees. So we have this frame that we found at Michael's and the glass was broken but the frame I find it super pretty so we are going to try to find another glass to replace it or use the frame for some other decor and there's also speaking of frames this little white frame that we don't have the, the glass for either but that's easy we can go to the dollar store and find a glass that size from another photo frame from one dollar this is here another frame with this we mostly donate them but sometimes we do crafts with like pin boards or photo boards uh, like there's so many ideas on pinterest for things to do with them this one here apparently this year the uh, gnome house like fairy gardens are on style so they had this at the store and this one apparently broke at the top so i'm not sure if, it, if we can do something to fake it to make it look like nothing's happened to it there's a little gnome house and also here we have this tree that um unfortunately lost the hand but and does it have the price this was 9.99 Oh, check it out. Here is a rubber stamp. And we have some twine, gold and white. We have an elf leg, which I had found a little while ago. Another one, and I actually found two, which is the idea to be able to put them like sticking out of something, but we just have one. We have these two perfectly in, in, in perfect condition um, witches. With Not, the tag. Yeah. With the tag. They're ten dollars each. Hold on, hold on. Let's oh the price is on the other side. Alright. They're ten ninety nine each. And there's nothing wrong with them. Alright, moving forward. This is gonna be difficult, but so here we have a little sledge. We believe there was something, this was part of something because it's priced twenty four ninety nine. There's no way this is twenty four ninety nine on its own. So I'm sure there's something else to it. And we also found a bunch of magazines like for knitting and paper crafting from Joanne's craft store. And we left a lot in the dumpster because there was no way to, to carry all of them. So we left them many there. These actually, these coloring books are missing the top, the cover, but they're intact inside. We can actually grab one and you can see. <laughs> they are gorgeous. So nothing wrong with them. They just ripped off the cover for them. And there's a little glittery bow. And here we have 
these scented sachets for like scent, uh, adding a perfume to your drawers or hanging from your your um what's the name closet. of that closet? Yeah, in your closet. closet from the hangers. So there are six of them, each one individually priced four ninety nine. Actually, uh, each pack comes with four. Also, we have this frame. It's very fancy looking, no um, glass or anything. And we have this full, two, really, really full um, container, <laughs> I don't know how to say that, uh, of white acrylic paint. And check this out, you guys. When I found this, um, I was really skeptical. I thought, it's probably, it probably doesn't work, right? Well, guess what? It works! It works! It's in perfect condition. Nothing is wrong with it. I cannot believe it. Let's see if we have a price tag anywhere here. Excuse this. It's kind of rough, but that's how we roll. <laughs> no, no price tag. So, we'll move on. These uh, floral picks are actually leaves on, in gold and green. Or actually, I think they're all gold, but one side... No, yeah, gold and green and they have a price tag so let's see they were 16.99 i'm sorry to say this but there's no way i would ever pay 16.99 for this i mean to me that's not worth it uh maybe to someone else it is and we have four of them in total so if you really add that up there's so much money in this hole it's uh, just crazy to be honest and you might have seen in the corner this but i didn't want to show it just yet because these crackers, that's not all we got. We actually got all those and right there, another bag full of them. Some of them got wet, so we had to throw them away, but we wanted to show them to you. We found all those, but many of them were not wet. Back to the starting point, these two frames. Uh, this is part of a box that we found at the, at the dumpster that was not really from the store. It was clearly someone that I don't know if they retired or even died because they were it was clothes and a purse I'll show you that later and these two little uh, wall decor items and these two frames and this candle, candle holder so I don't know what's up with that but it was clearly you not know, a store that but some personal items from someone this was also from the arts and crafts store uh, clear Christmas ball and these here these are like to remove others from a cigarette or anything else like something like that from the arts and crafts store also we found this uh, fabric very festive as you can see we have here these cards and check this out guys there's 74 cards I'm sorry shaky 74 cards and um, the even the display where they had them at the store was there and these are pop-up so basically this is how this one looks inside you see how it's three-dimensional and they are all priced $6.95 so multiply that by 74 it's insane just insane let's see what else we got here over $100 just just i can't get over it really and this basket we also found in the dumpster and we also find a different dumpster this that looks so boring right now compared to what we just showed you but these greeting cards and we found this book which we like it because it looks so vintage it's not that we really have a use for a use for this book like we will read it but it's just i don't know it looks like art <laughs> And this one is a very popular move, uh, book, sorry. I read the regular version, but I bet this is just as good. It's like a self-help book. Moving on here, we have this big Christmas uh, pick, so we can use that for some kind of handmade decor. And here, this was part of the box that I mentioned earlier that had belongings that were probably for someone from someone that we don't know what happened to that person. This is a game. If someone knows how to play this, let me know. Let us know because I have no idea what this is. But it's a nice quality game. Now from the same box, we have this purse. The purse is in perfect condition, except that the handles look like uh, very old. I think what happens is the purse 
it's not really used that much but the handles you know how uh, leather cracks or maybe it's faux leather I don't know but um, it's not really a brand what's the brand now? Uh, Williams? Wilson's. Wilson's. I don't know that brand, but maybe it is a brand name. Brand name. I don't know. Moving back to the arts and crafts store. This one was from the box again, where the purse came from. From the arts and crafts store, we found. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Basically, we found the box. The box was full of these trays, these uh, drawers, whatever you want to call them, boxes. And basically, I believe what happened here is that, you see, they need to be hammered. They need to be hammered back in place. They all have that. I'll show you right there. So that's such an easy fix, you guys. And this, you know, they need the core. They need the, the, a personal touch, but they're great. Now I'm leaving what's my favorite for last because we also went to Bath & Body Works. And on our first trip to the first Bath & Body Works, we found this candle. You know, I... One time I dumpster dived and I found a candle and I go oh, too bad it's broken and I dumped it back and then I started watching videos and I realized what you can do with them. You can chop the wax and put it in a, on a candle on a um, oil burner or wax burner and enjoy it because basically the perfume still it still works. Or you can depot it and put it in a different jar that you have and use it because this really hasn't even been used. This is a hot cocoa cream. All these candles, the three week candles are $22.50. That's crazy. And this one, just I am still in shock that I found it. This lavender vanilla from uh, White Barn, which is a line from Bath & Body Works, is nothing wrong with it. Okay, guys, nothing, no cracks, nothing. I think what happened is they left it open and it got dirty. There's a the hair yucks. And they couldn't sell it. And it, this looks like it's been burned, but it's not really. I don't know, it doesn't, I don't know. Maybe it's been like lightly, slightly burned, but yeah, it smells super good. Then we found a bunch of these jars that are for the uh, flower wall, wall flower thing. I don't know how they call them, uh, but you plug them, you put them in the thing, in, <laughs> in the thing, you put the thing in the thing. You put them on the uh, other part that goes to your outlet and uh, slowly warms it up and creates a scent. So when we found this, you see they have the tag on, you see? I don't know if it has a price tag, no. So we found it and I'm like, oh man, I, we, this is being used. I, die. I, I lied, this has the tag, but it's not full. Uh, I was thinking, I wish I could get the, the other part that makes it work. And sure enough, we went to another dumpster and there they were. And let me show you right now where they are. They're right here in this bag, and literally they were like that. The bag was sealed, like clipped together, and inside there were all of these. So <laughs> I have enough for like, I don't know. Um, if I lived in a mansion with 15 rooms, then I have one for each room pretty much. And there are the bottles also halfway full. So next, on the same dumpster that we found this, we found these candles. This one, apart, I don't think you can burn it any further, but I'm gonna use the jar to uh, put one of the candles that have the jar broken. So I can continue using it. For example, this one right here, I'm gonna be very careful. So this is here, the White Barn Pink Prosecco candle. And I believe, you know, if I'm careful, I could even burn it like that, probably. We'll see what happens. This one here is completely like, there's, you know, goodbye glass. Uh, I'm gonna be careful, I promise. So this is called Indulgence Cinnamon Rum Racing. That's the not common flavor, no scent, in my opinion, for a candle. This one, I have no idea. You can see, perfectly brand new, just like the, the, the glass broke, so. Uh, this one is called Ocean Blue Waves, a mini candle. Forgot to show you this one here. This one is not broken, it's coconut water, but it clearly has been used, but it's still, I think you can still burn it for some more. I mean, look at look at the amount it has left, a third of it. And here we have another one. I, I'm not gonna take it out, you guys. I just have a glass and I don't have the scent for this. Can I give them the tip to remove the candle from the... Sure. Many people don't know that if you put the candle in the freezer, then after a few hours, 
you can let them overnight. You can remove the candle easily from the pot, from the base. So that's a, a very, very useful tip. Okay, and finally, we found these candles, <laughs> candle galore here. And this one doesn't have, I mean, some of them have the glass, but I had to start like shaking the glass off so I wouldn't cut myself. So now I don't know what they are, but they all smell good, guys. They do smell really, really good. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to salvage this. It's obviously a display for it, one of those candles. It's broken here, but clearly, hold on. I can do this. It's priced, by the way, while we're at it. 1950 and you see it goes like this up there up there and see like that and then you put your candle in front super cute the little penguin okay guys this is it for uh, this video our best dumpster diving ever we are really happy and uh, we hope to see you again next time and of course See you in the downstairs.